the JAMA Network. For most pregnant women, it is exciting to learn they are expecting. Super excited. Me and the dad are ecstatic. What comes next is a lot of new information, including whether or not to undergo prenatal testing. There are many prenatal tests out there that can help women understand whether they might be giving birth to a child with a genetic problem. The important thing is to really understand what the test is and why you are having it. Doctors Miriam Cooperman and Mary Norton from the University of California, San Francisco and co-authors developed a computerized decision support guide containing detailed information about prenatal testing. It contains information about Down syndrome and the other conditions for which testing is available. More than 700 pregnant women were recruited from varying ethnic and socioeconomic backgrounds. Half viewed the computerized video. Problems with chromosomes are one cause of birth defects. And were then offered prenatal testing free of charge. The other half did not see the decision support guide and were not offered free tests. The tests give more and more information and for some women, more information is not necessarily what they want. Women who had the opportunity to view the program were less likely to undergo diagnostic testing than women who did not have a study intervention. They better understood prenatal testing and its outcomes. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. They also were more likely to correctly estimate the chances that their baby would have Down syndrome or that an amniocentesis can cause a miscarriage. It did help me figure out exactly what testing option I wanted to go with and I felt better about it just because I knew exactly what I'm being tested for. It's really important that women understand that is their choice to make and what the implications are of making a choice one way or the other. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.